Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. Can you believe August is already pretty much done? This is this month is flying. This year is flying. Welcome back to Not Broke for Long. If this is your first time seeing any of my videos, then welcome. My name is Latrice, and I am determined to not be broke for long by way of cash stuffing, budgeting, like you're about to see me do today, and savings challenges, and paying off debt. If this is something you're interested in, stay tuned. So from now on, um, I'm gonna try to do things a little differently. Um, my husband and I are still in the process of combining things. Um, we've already opened our joint account. We're getting debt together. And um, one of the things that I felt would make it a little easier because he's paid weekly is for me to start budgeting weekly. Uh, even though I'm paid bi-weekly, um, I want to try to maybe um, doing half of my checks, splitting my checks in half and budgeting the first half uh, the same week that he gets paid and then um, doing the second half the next week when he gets paid. So that way we can combine everything, combine all of our bills and put everything in one pot and pay everything that way. Um, it felt easier because if we just did bi-weekly then his money would just be sitting around for a week instead of actually going to places so this just felt easier and I really want to see how this is going to work out so um right now I'm doing the check that he got paid yesterday plus well some of it because we're still in the the process um, plus half of my check from this week, some rollover money. Um, and I finally, I got my last check that was short from the vacation we took. So we're, it's a lot of moving parts still. So eventually we're going to be settled. Um, but this is what we're working with today. So for the income, out of everything that I just explained, the income for the week is $1,849. Okay, so if we go back to the calendar, um, I'm gonna do this every Friday. And as you can see, this payment doesn't exist anymore. And this doesn't exist. So between today and the first, or I guess today and the 31st actually, there's nothing that's due. So what I'm actually gonna start doing is cash stuffing some of the larger bills. Eventually I wanna get to all of them and then just pull them as they're due. So the first thing we're gonna do is budget for the rent payment that's due next week. I'm taking it out of the bank because I find that when I just move, <clears throat> usually what I do is just move half of the rent to savings. And then when it's due on the first, just move everything back to my checking account and pay the bill. Um, but because we weren't combined and whenever he sent me money, I would set it to the side. Or if I got a refund for something, I would put it in my savings and then I got confused and I don't know what's what. So I'm gonna start taking everything out, majority of everything out. Um, so I'm gonna take this out for rent and then I'm gonna start with our Xfinity bill and that will be $38 for now. And because nothing else is due yet and um, I'm, I'm not gonna cash stuff anything for this week for bills, then that's it as far as bills, but now we have debt. And this is another thing that I'm gonna start cash stuffing. If you didn't see my short, um, we have student loans coming and a personal loan uh, that I took out to consolidate some credit cards. And all three of those payments are gonna be pretty large. So I'm gonna start stuffing them weekly into my binders. So first is 
our Discover loan. And I'm pulling out 250 for that. And next is my car note. And I was gonna pull this out, but I'm just gonna, I just made the payment. So I did half of my car note. And we're gonna start putting a little bit towards my husband's ER bill from last year. Um, so that's in the budget to just make a payment towards it so they will stop calling. That's pretty much the only reason why. <laughs> all right. So adding all of these up together, 482, 38, 250, 150, and 50. So 970 are our fixed expenses for the week. 1849 minus 970, 879. Okay, and now let me actually bring this to the center. Uh, so for our variable expenses, we have groceries and we're gonna start putting a little bit more towards groceries. Let me tell y'all about the struggle we had. <laughs> right after the last cash stuffing video, um, I budgeted 180 for groceries and I immediately went to Walmart and spent 165 of it because like I said, we ran out of everything. We were already bare bones and we needed a lot of food. I spent $165 of the budget. Why we run out of food again? So, <laughs> so last week we were just making, just making stuff happen. Just, I don't know how we got through the last week. Actually, I do know we took from the takeout fund, which helped. I mean, thankfully we over budgeted for takeout and we really only ate takeout one day and then the rest of it went to groceries. Uh, but thankfully that money was there. But now since we're budgeting weekly, we're gonna start putting more money to groceries and we're not doing takeout anymore. We're gonna try to not do takeout anymore. So for right now, we're not stuffing family fun. Um, our fun has to be to of minimum. Um, okay, so that's groceries. Household, we're doing 30. That looks like an eight. Um, and then we're gonna have our separate envelopes. So we're gonna do 20 for each of us. And clothes and shoes, we're doing 25 and miscellaneous 10. All right, let's see how much this is. 20, 20, 20 is 60, and then 35. 245. And I just realized I forgot something up there. Okay, I gotta do this again. So I forgot to budget for gas for my car. So 40, 970 plus 40, 10, 10. Mm. There we go, we made that work. Uh, 1849 minus 10, 10 is 839. Okay, that don't look bad. All right, 839 minus 245 is 594. And then we're gonna carry this over up here. Okay. Sinking funds. Uh, I don't have space for everything. Do I? Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna start saving for our anniversary. And that'll be $5 birthdays is five car nope birthdays is 10 for car care we're gonna put 15 for Christmas 
even though it's a savings challenge, I'm just, I moved it to sinking funds. We're gonna do 40 for Christmas. And gifts five. Oh, okay, y'all did spell that right. Health is 10. I don't have space. Why is there no room? Holidays, five. We're starting to save for our home now. And home is um, not buying a house, but we moved and we had to throw a lot of our furniture out, like our beds, our TV stand, um, and we just kind of want to spruce up our apartment. We really hate where we live, but we want to at least make it feel like a home. So we're gonna start putting money into the home category so that we can decorate a little bit um, and start getting things that will make us feel a little bit more comfortable here. Um, so now we're finally gonna start putting money towards that. Okay, after school and back to school is 25 and I'm still putting money towards back to school even though she's been in school for three weeks because someone is gonna say something about school fees field trips um there's always a classroom mom that's sending out an email about stuff that's due class parties stuff like that so all of that is just gonna keep um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep stuffing back to school to take care of those types of expenses. Um, anything that comes up. School pictures usually happen in October, so um, I'm gonna keep putting money towards back to school. And seasonal, this is for um, any winter clothes, summer clothes, scars, boots, things like that. Um, so I'm putting, starting to put money towards that. That's 10. I don't know what to do with everything else. I still have three things to save for. I guess I'm gonna put them over here. Travel. <laughs> uh, we're just doing $10 this week. And then of course you guys, YouTube is getting five and budget is also getting five. Side note, I realize I didn't say this at the beginning. Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for getting me to 500 subscribers. I didn't think I would get to that milestone so quickly. I've only been doing this for less than three months. Um, but I really, truly appreciate you guys tuning in to see what it is that we're doing uh, in order to get a tiny bit better financially. Um, I am going to announce the giveaway right now. So if you've been watching this far into the video, um, now you're gonna know what the giveaway is. Uh, I'm gonna keep it really simple. Literally just make sure you're subscribed to my channel, leave a comment down below, and uh, like this video. That's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna randomly pick a winner and I'm going to give away a $25 Etsy gift card to a random winner. I just wanna keep it simple. I don't really know yet about YouTube giveaways and how to conduct one. So <laughs> for my first giveaway, just super simple. Just subscribe, like, and comment, um, or just be subscribed to my channel. Like this video and leave a comment down below. It could be anything. And um, I will randomly pick a winner. And uh, I'll announce it next week. So I'm gonna give you guys until the 31st, August 31st, to submit for this giveaway. 
and you will win a $25 Etsy gift card. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to this train wreck of my life. Okay, <laughs> sinking funds total is what? 10, 10 plus 15 plus 15 plus 40 plus 15 plus 20 plus 35. Um, I might piss people off when I do this. I don't know. But when I calculate things, I like to do two numbers at a time. So you might see me skipping. Um, but I do really quick mental math and then I just put it in the calculator. If you need me to calculate everything separately, I can do that. Sometimes I do mess myself up that way. But I, I skip ahead a lot. I don't know if anyone else does that. Let me know if y'all do that too, or is that just me? 594 minus 160 is 434. Okay. Now we are doing the snowball. Yeah. So we're starting to budget extra money every week for extra debt payments. And I've already made this payment um, is to pay off my tally is to pay off my tally debt so there's 254 left over after that no 254 down here 180 all right and we are doing some savings challenges. I can't wait. I bought some scratch offs from Snow Gardener 307. I'm still waiting for them to come in. Um, but for right now, just to get started, my goal is to do $50 a week for scratch offs that will be rolled over into debt, kind of like how she does when she does the scratch offs and then whatever challenge she finishes, she puts it towards debt. I want to do that also. So. But right now though, I'm just starting off with $15. Um, and then of course I love, love, love Two Sister Bees Hello Honey um, or Savings Challenge videos. And I play along with Hello Honey and now I'm gonna actually start budgeting um, what I save while watching her video. So uh, this past Sunday, that was $27. So I'm gonna start um, doing the tracker for Hello Honey and stuff like that. And last but not least, drum roll. We are fully funding my emergency fund. Ah, there's 170 left. It's only 170 left and I'll have a thousand dollars. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so there's money missing somewhere. Let me calculate this first. 170 plus 27 plus 15. 212. What did I do? Why do I have 212 left? I mean, um, why do I have $42 left? Oh, duh. Okay. <laughs> no, I realized what I'm missing. So, I didn't write down all of my categories. 26 week challenge. We're putting $40 towards that. Plus there's an extra $2. Um, I'm just gonna put that in my dollar jar. So I'll just add that over here. $1 challenge. I don't have enough uh, rolls for this workbook. $2. All right, now let's calculate this again. Let's bring 254 down. 27 plus 170 plus 15 plus 40 plus two. All right, now we're at zero. Now I'm going to bring everything over to this side. 
the numbers because I've already done the categories. I have to figure something else out because <laughs> I realize again, there's not enough room for the savings challenges. I'll figure it out. So let me write all of these out and I will come back because I have, I have to turn this this way. Lefty, lefty issues. this space down here because I also don't have room for rent and the loan pretty much what I'm cashed up for bills and savings challenges so let's try this y'all still uh here because I am struggling I think I was doing five and ten ones here I think shocker yep well let me calculate it 700 plus There we go. Okay. So 482, 38, 250, this entire category 245, this one 160, and this one 1429. All right. So that is how much we will be stuffing in the cash stuffing video. Thank y'all for tuning in to this mess. Um, <laughs> stay tuned for my cash stuffing. Again, uh, 
Thank you guys for getting me to 500 subscribers. Really, really, truly appreciate it. I think uh, last time I checked, we were at 515. So we're still getting up there. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking with me throughout this struggle budget. I'm gonna keep doing the weekly, but this was a mess. <laughs> Uh, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I promise not every video, if this is your first video of mine that you're watching, not every video is this chaotic. I promise. Thanks again for stopping by. Peace.